Hello everyone, this is David from Gold Star Tool and today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make your Juki DDL8700 or any industrial single needle sewing machine to a walking foot machine. Uh, I have here a Juki DDL8700 and what I'm trying to do is to make it to a walking foot. Um, there are many type of many type of sewing machine out there when it comes to industrial. Uh, Juki, new tech, obviously, uh, Konso, Econoso, uh, Mitsubishi, Brother, they all make industrial sewing machine. And uh, the part and feed dog and the plates, I've been saying this all the time, uh, they're all the same. You could change. Uh, there are many, many type of food for the sewing machine. But today we're gonna work on the walking food. Um, so there are attachments that come that you could buy uh, and we have them here I just opened one up before you guys join me and I was trying it out myself and it's called RWA-2 it's a high shank walking food machine and we have them here at gold star tool and it's about $14.99 uh, so as I, I read uh, as you guys could see, it should be a very simple uh, change. Uh, so, the machine that you see here, you could do regular plate, medium, heavy, heavy duty, same with needles and same with uh, feed dog. And I have them right here too for you guys to see. Um, right here is a heavy duty uh, feed dog, a plate, and you could see there are bigger groove here and a bigger hole here for uh, heavy duty needles and you know doing canvas and all the uh, heavy stuff and also heavy feed dog um, I don't know if you could be able to see the let me see maybe you could see it from here it's really really uh, the feed dog is really heavy duty has big teeth and um, so there is Juki DDL8700 and there is 8700H. These machines are not walking food. They are not walking food. They are regular sewing machine for everyday sewing. You could do light, lingerie, medium, jersey, cotton, heavy, denim jeans, very heavy canvas. You could do even leather. You cannot do hide with them. You cannot do more than half an inch and you cannot do very very tough material but in general they could do it now there is Juki 1181 which is a walking foot there is Juki 1541 1541s which are heavy duty walking food machine one is with security and the other one is 1504 which is a really really heavy duty walking food machine with compound which compound means that you could go and fold and compound and sew, compound and sew. Same thing, compound and sew. But this machine is not gonna do the same thing. This is a regular sewing machine, but we're gonna make it to uh, just sew a little bit heavy duty stuff. So I just sewed some with this, uh, without any walking foot. This is a two layer vinyl I did uh, very big number five stitch number four number three number two and tiny tiny ones right here with the regular plate and a feed dog and a needle and now I'm gonna try to do more uh, with this heavy duty uh, machine so uh, heavy duty heavy duty attachment uh, it at the end of the day here and I'm a bit tired so skewed my being tired and I'm trying to so I'm going to take the uh, attachment that I just put on before I wanted to try so this is an attachment it's a walking foot attachment and uh, I also tried to see if I could use the thumb screw on this you cannot use the thumb screw so you gotta go with the normal uh, feed, 
food screw that comes with it. Uh, you could, you cannot also, you cannot use the uh, easy uh, push uh, screw that we have here for uh, this type of uh, walking foot. So we're gonna put these two away. You cannot use the thumb screw and you cannot use the push screw here. Uh, none of these you could use. Uh, the needles are uh, 16x257 and I have size 10 here. That's what I have in the drawer and that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, for the uh, needle screw, uh, you gotta get it off the tiny one that comes to the machine and get a longer one. Uh, I'm sure you have one of these longer ones in your uh, toolbox uh, because the, the way it's gonna work is that this arm is gonna sit on the screw and it's gonna go up and down. And before you guys join me, I broke one of the needles. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the needle. Uh, I'm gonna figure out if there's any problem. The same way that you guys are, I'm gonna put my LED lamp on and I'm gonna put the screw on on and then here we go done just have you have to put the thread in i'm using a t27 a very normal thread there are many type of threads out there but i'm not gonna uh, change anything because you guys might not have the same thing that i have here at home but i'm sure you guys have regular sewing machine thread and I know you have a regular fit dog and a plate. So I'm not gonna go fancy schmancy here with heavy duty thread and nylon thread or any anything like that. And if my eyes allows me get in there, no, one more try, I'm gonna go ahead and use the tweezers. One last time, get in there. One more time. No, it's not happening. Yeah, the smaller the uh, the smaller the needles, the smaller the needle holes are. So uh, this is very tiny needle, size ten, and we're gonna go ahead and sew something really heavy. Uh, so if I was gonna go ahead and put the plate, I mean the uh, normal plate back on and just try to show you guys that it works. This really works. This really sews leather and sews two or three layers of uh, leather or vinyl. And here it is. The sewing machine is on and if I cut this extra thread right here, you'll see that this is extra thread again the back beautiful 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 stitch reverse and um done now I'm gonna just okay. now uh, I could just hope that you guys could see this. Um, again, this is a brand new camera and I'm trying to uh, get used to the the way it works. And But it's, if you could see, it's really, really um, nice stitching. Uh, and you see that? And it's two layers. So. I'm gonna take that off, the foot, and 
you know what? I'm going to even do four layers. And then we're going to go ahead and try. And again, this thread came out. And the reason it comes out because we need more tension to sew really thick stuff. And but then when we set up it's perfect and we could get going uh, I don't have a lot of lights in here but I have enough to for you guys to see and uh, hopefully we could you know next time we could get more light in here so you guys have a uh, easier time watching this. One of the things that you gotta make sure when you're sewing, don't be frustrated. I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes happy that like the thread breaks and um, uh, the needle break so you gotta know that it's you know things happen and you gotta don't get uh, all excited this is not working and that is not working and this is breaking and that is breaking you gotta work with it and uh, it will work if if we try it out here and it's working it's gonna work all right so I'm going with a normal plate a normal uh, more light here we go I'm going with a normal plate normal feed dog a normal regular foot and a size 10 needle through four layer of really heavy uh, crepe bag vinyl let's see how it's gonna look. Now we could also uh, fix the tension from the bottom. No. It did not catch. And uh, I'm gonna try it one more time. The four layer didn't go through, but I'm gonna try one more time. I think if you would have changed the needle, obviously, and the plate and the feed dog, maybe, but it's not, but I'm gonna give it a try one more time. And if not, then we're gonna just go ahead and change it to a, um, to a walking foot. But with walk, even if you do walking foot, you still need to change the needle to a more heavy duty needle because uh, no matter what you do, you're still going through a really, really heavy uh, vinyl, which is four layers. So uh, the reason that this thing happened and the needle breaks because the needle is trying to go through something really heavy and uh, the thread can't so the thread just breaks away and uh, but now i'm going to just try it one more time before we go ahead and change it to a you know what i'm talking about it's just one of those the needle that i want to go in there I mean the thread. Go for it. It's just so. Okay, now I have better.
All right. We're gonna try one more time just to see if it's gonna go through four layers. So you guys at home could see if it does or not. I'm gonna go very slow and for you guys to see. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Yep, I changed the tension and uh, here you go. For those people that call in every day and say, hey, it, and I'm gonna look at the batch. Oh, this is beautiful. For you, those guys that hang on for the, uh, for me to do the thread and the needle, I mean, I didn't change the needle. This is a size 10 needle, 16X257. I even have here some Teflon plate and Teflon feed dog to change, but I'm not gonna even change it now. Uh, because you could change if you're doing, you know, a spandex and you're doing nylon and some stuff, it's easier. I even have the uh, roller foot right here that a lot of people use, SPK-3, that it makes it easier, but I haven't. I'm just gonna do a reverse right here. I'm gonna go very slow on the reverse. And look at that just beautiful beautiful so Richard, I mean just beautiful sewing right here and this is the badge not even one skip so I did four layers wow four layers of thick uh, vinyl with crepe back or cotton back or polyester back. Mean, I mean that there is, you know, there is backing. Now, for those people that want to, they say, I want walking foot attachment. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put the same way that you put that on, I'm gonna put this one on. And, I, I, the only thing that I don't like is that I can't use the the thumb screw, but it's easier just to get used to how to put it on. Uh, so here, before you do anything, when you put the, attachment on, which is the walking foot attachment, you wanna make sure that the needle is not hitting the uh, the attachment or plate or anything and everything else is good. So now I have some very heavy thread, I mean heavy fabric, and I'm gonna use four layers. And I'm not gonna, I could put this on, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna just go ahead and use it before without using that attachment. Uh, because I want to see if the attachment is on and it's doing great but it I don't have the arm on all I have to do Again, as I told you, the needle screw that you have for the, when you do regular sewing is too short. You need to get the longer one that I have here. And uh, now I, that I put the longer one and I'm gonna just use the arm to put behind the uh, screw. 
and so when the screw goes up and down and the needle bar goes up and down this thing also uh, work with it and pull the fabric all we need to do all we want the machine to do is to pull heavier fabric and now if you take a look when I go up this thing moves and I hope you guys could see this is what we want this machine to do going up and down up and down you see that up and down this arm is going up and down and uh, we want to this is now making it to a walking foot so I'm going to just try you see it's walking and I'm going to just use my foot knee bar lifter and try again and you guys are front row and you could see again I want to apologize I don't have an extent today this is whoa good this is perfect right perfect um, so we're not gonna use this plate or the feed dog we're not gonna change anything I'm gonna just go ahead and continue sewing with the vinyl to see how the vinyl does so I'm just gonna continue sewing we might break the needle here because I'm going to I mean I don't want to go really heavy you see that this is the only when it comes to vinyl you have to push it a little bit so even though it worked really well on the regular fabric when it comes to vinyl not that it doesn't work it works but uh, you gotta push it a bit and I think it's because that's how you do it I mean all you have to do to do really heavy duty stuff uh, again on this beautiful AD700 DDL AD700 that we have put together ourselves at goldstartool.com all you have to do is to when you want to do really heavy stuff when you change the uh, plate and feed dog you could get this uh, attachment from us at goldstartool.com and make it to a walking food we just tried it obviously we broke a needle because the needle was size 10 but it's good to try everything uh, you know size you could try size 12 and try size 16 and see which one fits you better but see what I did we sewed this much heavy stuff together and for some people that can't afford a walking foot and they think they need a walking foot this shows that you do not always need a walking foot walking foot is a very good machine but you don't need a walking foot um, it's a, a pleasure uh, to do a video for you guys I really want to thank you for following our channel um, I want you to please like our videos and uh, give us a thumbs up write us a comment and let me know what you want to do this is uh, to a very good customer that called in and uh, she wanted me to do the uh, attachment for the walking food and I did it and you see it's working and uh, again this is the literature that comes with it this is the RWA-2 a really nice uh, sewing machine uh, with calyx tabletop a servo motor LED lamp and you could add uh, the walking foot attachment to a channel. Thank you for watching and good luck.
our website goldstartool.com.